Good evening, everybody. Welcome along to the Big Help Stadium in Southport, where it's Premier League 2 action for the Young Toffees this evening. They take on Blackburn Rovers. In truth, this could be deemed as a final audition for Tuesday's enormous Premier League International Cup semi-final against Crystal Palace. Who will impress Paul Tate in order to warrant selection for that game? There's only three games left in this Premier League 2 season. Not too much to play for. However, this evening at least, one player will be a lot of eyes on him. Arnold Danjuma, who hasn't played since January, is back in action. And he is part of the Everton starting lineup. Here are the teams for this evening's contest, which will kick off at 7 o'clock. Four changes from the 0 0 league draw against Palace. Dan Juma is the notable inclusion. Fraser Barnsley is selected in goal ahead of Billy Krellin. While well, Halle Jankpata and Harrison Armstrong, who's only 17 years old, makes the starting 11. Keep an eye on Charlie Whitaker, who's suspended for the semi final in midweek. He's had a really good season. As for Blackburn, well, they haven't really figured too much in uh, recent times. They've only played one game in the last month. It was a 1 0 victory against Liverpool. Felix Goddard comes in in goal. One of two changes that are at either end of the field. Goddard in goal and Junior and Sangu plays up front. Patrick Gamble and Jake Batty have been in and around Rovers' first-team squad this season. Kickoff is coming at 7 o'clock. And as mentioned, next week, Everton's under-21s are in Premier League International Cup semi-final action away at Crystal Palace. Official members can watch that match live as we have a look at the sets of uh, substitutes Callum Bates and Jacob Beaumont Clark uh, promoted from the under 18 side George Pickford is the reserve goalkeeper on that Premier League International Cup semi-final official members can watch that match live from Southhurst Park at 6.45pm on Tuesday evening on Everton TV but for now let's take a look at how Paul Tate's side booked their place in the semi-finals Get a pass! Get a pass! 
One or two of the senior boys there helping the youngsters through to the semi-finals of the Premier League International Cup. Well, kickoff is just around the corner in tonight's Premier League Two match between Everton and Blackburn Rovers. Earlier this week, the club held its annual Academy Day for even younger faces as young Blues from the under-7s through to the under-11s have the unforgettable experience alongside players from the men's senior team and our cameras were there too. So, Lewis, a really exciting day for the kids. Tell us why we're here. Yeah, we're here today to uh, enjoy some football with the with the future, hopefully, and uh, put some smiles on their faces and just have a nice kickabout. Do you remember being involved in this when you were in the academy? Yeah, I'd done it once. I remember I was so nervous that day because obviously you're meeting all the people that you know you idolise and you look up to and you want to be like in the future. So, yeah, it's kind of competitive as well because you want to show what you can do. But yeah, it's nervous. It's nice. It brings back, you know, the start of my journey really, and it shows how far I've come at the minute. And I, hopefully, we'll see some of these in the first team one day, and it's just nice to see them. Yeah, it's a massive day for us. You know, it's something that we've done for a long time now. Um, you can see the excitement in all the kids and the staff the same. To be fair, so it's a good day all around. Yeah, I mean, the conditions aren't the best today, but the, the spirits definitely aren't, aren't dropping hardy. No, definitely not. I think it probably adds to it a little bit, a few slide tackles getting thrown in and you know, a chance for the players to get the staff back a little bit. So no, it's been really good so far. And obviously for you personally, uh, I guess you've gone full circle with this process, haven't you? I have, yeah. I was just saying before, I've, I've done it as the young boy coming in to train with the, the older ones and then I've done it as a player. I've done it as a parent with my little lad being in the system and now I'm doing it as a staff member. So. So I've experienced it all the way around, yeah. Well, that certainly looked a lot of fun. A great day there for our young Blues. Now, one player who's risen through the academy ranks already is Roman Dixon. He's in the starting 11 this evening, and he is the subject of our latest Wants to Watch feature.
Roman Dixon in action there for Everton. Two sets of players are out on the field now. There is the man that we're all looking at this evening, Arno Danjuma. His first action since January, suffering an ankle injury. It's been a real frustrating time for the Dutchman. How will he get on tonight as the big man, the big fish in the small pond of this under 21 Premier League 2 fixture? Not just about him, though. There are 10 others out there looking to do their best for Everton. Currently seven points off of uh, 16th place, which is actually where uh, Blackburn occupy top 16 going to the elimination playoffs and with three games remaining. It is a, a big ask for Everton. Two sets of players just go through the uh, pre-match rituals there. Here are the uh, two lineups once again. Referee this evening is Dean Watson, who's flanked by Jacob Braham and Curtis Wood. Graham Kearney is the fourth official. And it will be Blackburn Rovers to kick us off in their all-black kit this evening. Lovely sun-kissed conditions here on the Merseyside coast. Perfect conditions for football. Obviously, we will see nightfall around about half time, and then temperatures will drop. But it is Rovers who get the game underway. And the first header is won by Tyler Onyango. Three decent fixtures left in this competition for the young Toffees. They play Blackburn this evening and then the final two games are away from home but they are against Leeds and Derby who are bottom and second from bottom respectively in the division early pressure coming from Everton miscontrolled by uh, Charlie Whittaker Blackburn seeking to move the ball forward quickly through and Sangu but Whittaker gets back and that's good defending He's on Yango, who's had a little bit of first team experience. Playing at centre half. Headed down towards Jack Patter. Now here is Kyle John. Still failed to link up there with Kiyate. Blackburn moving the ball forward quickly. It's a good promising run that by Leo Duru. Emergency from both sides, which is good to see. <laughs> Haven't scored in either of their last two league games of uh, Everton. The game before that was a bit of a bonanza, a 4 3 success against Leicester. Is Harrison Wood for Blackburn. Kyle John sweeps up and rolls it back to Fraser Barnsley. Dan Juma the target, first chance for him to try and get involved in the game. Say the target. Couldn't find Jack Patter, who's playing that number 10 role just in behind Kiate. Whitaker and Danjuma playing the wide roles. There's Batty for Blackburn. Whitehall. Goddard now to the Rover skipper, Tom Atchison. 
played by Dixon. Here's Reese Welsh. Nice composure shown there by Jensen Metcalf. Three Rovers players around him, but he dealt with the ball effectively. Piate is going to give chase. Away by Onyango. Whitaker touches it on towards Armstrong. Now Kiate. Lots of space for Kyle John. Danjuma. Up against Patrick Gamble. Jack Patter. Nearly unintentionally back heeled it to Danjuma. Welch gets across, makes the challenge just in front of the dugouts where the coaching staff and substitutes are situated Paul Tate was very complimentary of the young Toffees efforts in their last game against Palace 0-0 draw but did praise the quality of the, the build up play Now John wins it back Danjuma Dixon pressed by Batty goes back to Fraser Barnsley who plays the ball out into touch Batty drills it now to Gamble. Here is Caddick. Leo Duru. It's already shown a bit of promise for Blackburn. Atchison. Toffee's really giving chase. Kiate putting the keeper under pressure. Wood forward, but Welch will sweep up. All over the top. Wood keeps himself on side, but he had no real support. And even if he did, it wasn't a good ball. Kyle John. Down the line for Kiate. Patter now to Welch. On Yango, who already looks like physically he's going to quite easily have the beating of some of those Rovers forward players. There is the man who we saw in the build up. Norman Dixon, a real talented player. Particularly good with one on one defending. Have to see if Blackburn pose any threat to him during the course of this evening. He Toffees fans have made their way to Southport this evening, seeing the stand opposite over on the uh, right hand side. He's done a lot of running so far. Here's Batty. Glances it on towards Wood. And continues his run. But Wood's cross well over hit.
been a curious last month or so for Blackburn. They've only been in action once. It was against Liverpool, they did. Managed to secure a 1 0 win. Prior to that, they were 5 1 successes at Nottingham Forest. So Everton know that they will be in a game. Free kick opportunity. Metcalf stood over it. Dixon. Nicely played between himself and Armstrong. And this is Dixon again. That was clear it. It's actually turned into a pretty good ball for... That was number nine, Junior and Sangu. Poor free kick. Picked up by John. Dan Juma. I would expect the plan for Dan Juma would be maybe give him an hour or 70 minutes. Even though it is under 21's football, it's still a, a lot to ask of him physically to play the full 90 when he's been out for around about three months now. Atchison. Blackburn have probably looked a little bit more comfortable so far in terms of possession. Here's Dixon. Oh, needs to be careful. Welsh just really well. Didn't panic when he had TJ on around him. Go away only as far as T. John and then Kyle John gets it back. Here is Metcalf now. Metcalf looking for a quick forward pass. Oh, and Atchison gets his feet muddled up. Whitaker can he play the right ball? He couldn't. Armstrong all over Caddick. Brilliant play from the 17 year old. And here he is again. Armstrong. John. Jack Patter's moving ahead of him. Dan Juma is there. Kyle John. Is he brought down? Scrappy to win it back. Now Dan Juma. Jack Patter. Dixon. Fizzing pass towards him, but he controls it. Whitaker driving inside. Here he is again. Charlie Whitaker trying to move through the Blackburn wall of bodies. Visitors have done well. Duru, it's there ahead of Kyle John. It's a missed time challenge. Duru stays on his feet. Woods at the back post. Oh, he scuffed the effort. Everton clear. Here's Rory Finneran. Gamble. Atchison. Oh, it's a terrible pass to Batty. sure Roman Dixon will deal with passes down the line like that all evening long. Yeah. 
Wood on the turn. Gamble. Wonderful defending from John. Needs some support. Kiati is the only man ahead. And the ball was played with too much pace. Could be a bit of a duel on the far side between Leo Duru and Kyle well, John. And Pater has Finneran on top of him. Finneran gets the ball back. Wood over the top for Jiro. That's a lovely touch. But not a lovely pass. Fiate uses his body very well there. Quick free kick. Dan Juma stayed on side. No, he hasn't. That was a late flag. It is the directive these days to assistant referees to put the flag up as late as possible, but most we don't have VAR in action tonight, so really short the need for it. His hold up play has been good. The rules are tendered. Juma getting a bit of a welcome to Premier League 2 action. Mike Sharon, the Blackburn Rovers coach. I think if they're being honest, they'll be the happier of the two so far. to Batty Woods brought down by Metcalf Finneran. Wood. And Sangu. Batty's on the charge. So is Reese Welsh. Just those little body shifts that make him look so classy when he's defending. And Yango all over and Sangu. Batty. Now and Sangu. He's going for the curler. 
First real shot in anger, and it comes from Blackburn Rovers. from John. Juma looks to have moved into a more central position now. Here's Armstrong. Diarte on the left. Here he is. And Juma's in support with only Whitaker in the box. Twisting and turning was Kiate. It's going to be a toffee's corner. He's been good so far. He's Given some threat to Blackburn Rovers. Nice outlet for Everton to use. Well, the corner has swung into the area. Just uh, evaded everybody. Well, it's got a slight touch. Here is Kiate. Gets around the outside of Whitehall. Jack Patter shot. Metcalf steaming onto it. Metcalf behind Jack Tata. And Sangu back to Duru. And it's another Rovers counter attack. John is chasing, stays with him this time. And Sangu in, away by Welch. Now Wood through now to Batty. Batty's reverse ball gets it back. It's not a good clearance from Welch. So throw in on the very near side. On Yango deals with the throw in well. Game's starting to go a bit more end-to-end. -end. Dixon. Whitaker. Oh, nice idea. Gamble blocks Dan Juma getting onto the ball. That's a clear foul. It is going to be a yellow card for Jack Patter. Well, he has been brought into the starting 11 this evening. Halid Jack Tata, clearly eager to impress and was just uh, a little bit too rough and ready there. Take a look at the replay. Clear tap on the ankles. Can't get away with that these days. Whitaker giving chase to Atchison and putting him under pressure. Armstrong. Options are around him. One of them is Dixon. Trying to be a little bit too delicate. Blackburn counter again. Wood held on to the ball too long. Metcalf. Oh, lovely pass. Dan Juma controls, but the flag goes up again. Well, you 
You don't need to be a genius to work out. He's not happy with the decision. his only outlet Dan Juma last game he played for Everton was a 0-0 draw against Fulham back in January largely used as a substitute by Sean Dyche Siate giving chase once again oh that's a dreadful clearance Everton looks to pounce all over it Whitaker tries to slide in Batty's away from Dixon. And Rovers get the decision their way. Batty asking too much of T. John. Welsh over Whitaker's head. Armstrong recovers it. Jack Patter. Now Kyle John. And he's chopped down by Neil Duru. May have got something to the ball though. John. And Juma sprinting to get onto the long ball. Gamble and Whitehall both felt they had to take action against him. It's perhaps a sensible tactic for Rovers to deploy to double mark the senior man, but always will leave a spare man for the Toffees. Sangu Onyango away Batty Ian Duro have looked particularly threatening for Blackburn playing a back three so those wing backs are given full license to go forward here's another example Duro gets to the byline does brilliantly well so does Kyle John. The Rovers have their first corner of the game. into the middle of the area Welsh with a big climb Dan Juma hold on to it a bit too long but invites the challenge the up and away Oh, 
Toffees win the second ball. It's hooked over the top for what towards Whitaker. And Sangu. Atchison for Whitehall. Metcalf. Pinner and away. Now Wood. Blackburn sending bodies forward. Batty will get another chance. Great defending by Dixon. And he's still down on the deck. Dixon may have just taken a, a bit of a knock there. Well, let's take the corner. Welch away. Sent in by Batty. Whitehall tries to shoot on the turn. And then Finner and Short came through a crowd. Well gathered by Fraser Barnsley. Neither goalkeeper yet been severely tested. Don't cut it. A few loose touches creeping in for Everton. And here's an opportunity. Lovely flick. Dan Juma. Now Whitaker. Gone from back to front quickly. Dan Juma's making a run. Can Whitaker find the ball? He's still going. In the end, he runs into a cul-de-sac. Armstrong. Kiati ahead. Dan Juma. Armstrong running ahead. Dan Juma holds on. Metcalf goes for the shot. Atchison away. Dixon's going to keep it in. Batty. Desperately trying to avoid conceding the corner. That's not the best throwing. Here's in Sangu. Batty for Atchison. Now Whitehall. Gamble. Duru, the big Blackburn threat. Batty flicks on. Yango gets it away once again. Someone who can fill in in midfield as well, Tyler Ronyango. He's a very versatile player. Finneran. John misses it. This is Leo Duru. 
Wood makes a run. Wood's going to drill it in. Welsh away. Finneran over the top. Asking far too much of Harrison Wood. Dixon. Leo Duru. Still he goes. Finding challenge from Metcalf. Tajon will keep it alive. Caddick. There are plenty of Blackburn Rovers shirts in the Everton box. And yet, Caddick is being pushed backwards. Gamble. Duru. More options. Welsh back to Duru. Unintentional. Duru's cross. Batty. Atchison. Does he fancy a dig? Back to Batty. Sent it very quickly. And Sangu couldn't get the telling touch. Burn looking to make a push as we go on towards the end of this first half. Here's Wood. Armstrong slides in. It's a good challenge. Rovers still in possession. Batty. Drills the cross in. Kyle John had to make the clearance. Juru was lurking behind. A real workout for Kyle John so far. Caddick, the designated corner taker for Rovers. Caddick drilled in. Set it away as far as Wood. Harrison Wood, the goal scorer. Well, in the last five minutes, it has been coming. Great awareness from Nsangu to tee up Wood. And he was never going to miss from that position. Talk about a very unintentional good touch and turn.
been impressive so far as Harrison Wood, the number 10, playing like a proper number 10, getting on the ball, trying to make things happen. Response needed now from Paul Tate's young charges. And it could be instant. Here's Armstrong. Danjima trying to keep himself onside. He's not been closed down. Armstrong's going to go for it. Carried away. Did have Danjima as an option. Here's John. And Welch. Need to be careful more than anything not to concede a second double quick time. Onyango goes on. Brilliant play, Tyler Onyango. Who can he pick out? He picks out Charlie Whitaker. It is an instant response. And after a two game drought, Everton back on the score sheet. Powerful play from Onyango. Away from Atchison. And Whitaker keeps his head. Well, that's certainly livened things up. Chopping challenge. And that's going to be a yellow card. Getting some Metcalf in the book. That's two of Everton's players on yellow cards now, following Halle Junk Patter. Armstrong. Dreamer lets it run. And now he's going to move forward. But the touch wasn't great. It's a shame that. It was a pretty decent layoff, I think, from Kiyate. And Dreamer just couldn't take it in his stride. Metcalf. Whitehall heads away. Metcalf tries to phase one into the path of Kiate. Shooting chance for Jack Patter. Finneran who got in the way. Yango with a big header away. Kinati came from an offside position. That looked pretty clear at the first glance. Batty. Tie jump. Back to Batty. Here's Finneran. Caddick, Atchison, <laughs> lovely work, Finneran, he's running to trouble, Jack Patter, 
Midfield's just lacking a bit of composure right now. Here's Wood. Trying to tee up Duru, but Al John is alongside him. Whitaker. Well, he went down under Atchison's challenge, but I think the ball was going to spin out into touch. All touch and pass from Whitehall to Batty. and searching for the right option there was a taker in the form of Metcalf and Sango on only as far as Dan Patter. Dan Juma tries to chest it forward. Here's Armstrong. Through now to Dan Juma, just behind him. Two minutes of time added on. Armstrong. On he goes. Grabbed midair by Goddard. John's header, and then a header from Gamble, back to Kyle John, Dan Juma. Metcalf, oh, he's asking a lot of Dixon. Well, it's a shame Dixon tried his best to keep the ball in play, but slipped. It wasn't the most sympathetic of passes. is going to chase this opportunity here opening up Metcalf shot parried Turn away. Everton could have ended this first half with a turnaround of the scoreline. They still might. Opportunity, Dan Juma. Trying to bulldoze his way forward. Durud as well. And that marks the end of the first half that was quiet for large spells. And then we had two goals in a matter of two minutes. Harrison Wood with a tapping. Following good work from Junior and Sangu. And then Everton got the equaliser quickly through Charlie Whitaker. Arnold Danjuma hasn't really been involved as much as he'd like. There have been a few glimpses, but at the break, it is Everton 1, Blackburn 1. We'll be back with the second half very shortly. In the meantime, coming up, we've got the latest Everton Stadium video update. James Tarkovsky answers fan questions in our inbox feature. But first, here are your first half highlights.
Hi, I'm James Sarkovsky, and this is my inbox. Hello, James. My name's Jake. I would like to ask you, do you enjoy being vice captain? Hi, Jake. Um, yeah, I love being vice captain. It's a, it's a great honour um, to wear the armband on the match day whenever Seamus isn't isn't in the eleven. Um, so yeah, I'm very fortunate. Um, and, I'm, I'm, and it's great work under Seamus Coleman as well. Um, seeing his leadership skills, the way he, he runs this place day to day, um, <clears throat> with, with the way he trains, the way he talks, um, just everything about him. So yeah, it's been a great honour for me. So my name is Joseph and I am a season ticket holder at Everton Football Club. And here's my question. How do you stay motivated and confident during long periods of play? Hi Joseph. I think for myself, um, I think it's just about remaining concentrated. Um, my, my primary goal in the game is to stop the ball going to the back of our netter. So uh, my focus is to stop that throughout the game and staying concentrated, staying switched on um, and being aware throughout the game is the most important thing for me. Um, so that's how I keep my motivation up. Hi Tarky, thank you for choosing Everton and being such a good role model for the Everton football team. My question, as an experienced footballer, what do you think Jared Brantwaite has taught you in terms of football and or life? First of all, thanks for, for the compliment and, and I love playing for this club. Um, I think from, from playing alongside Jared, um, he plays so maturely and so calmly. Um, I wish I, could, I wish I would have learned that so young as well. Um, I'm still sort of taking that on from him because with the, when he receives the ball, the way he, he, he looks so composed and moves it. Um, I, w I wish I could sort of be a bit more like that in my game. Um, I'm, so, I'm so sort of on edge of my defending a lot of the time. I can get a little bit carried away on the ball. Um, so yeah, probably Jared's composure and his calmness really. All right, Taki lads. It's Tom Hartley here, currently in Ranchi, India. Um, my question for you is if you could watch cricket at any ground in the world, which one would it be? Hi, Tom. Well done, well done on the tour, you're doing well. Um, ooh, which cricket round would I go to? Um, probably somewhere in Australia for the Ashes, so we'll go for the MCG, I think. Yeah, but anywhere in Australia, the Gabba, something like that. Yeah, any of them. Hi James, I'm Isabel, and you're my favourite football player. My question is, who was your favourite football player when you were little? Hi Isabel, um, thank you very much. And my favourite footballer, ooh, that's a good question. My favourite footballer growing up when I was a kid was David Beckham. Over my current favourite footballer, ooh, I'm going to go for probably Kevin De Bruyne. Just he seems to have something a little bit different from everyone else out there who, who's so good. Um, he has something that's very unique, the way he passes the ball and moves the ball and strikes a football. Hey T-Bone, this is Gabe from America and I got a question for you. <laughs> if you could go back in the past 200 years or if you could go into the future 200 years, which one would you do and why? I look forward to your answer. Up the toffees. <laughs> he called me T-Bone. <laughs> Does he know I've got a tie with a T-Bone? Is that why he said that? <laughs> that must have been common knowledge. That's mental. Hi, Gabe. Um, I would probably. Oh, that's a good question. I'd like to find out what he'd do. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go backwards 200 years, because then I think we'll be able to see how much we should be grateful for today. Because imagine living 200 years ago was a lot more difficult than it is now. Tarky, you're my favourite player for Everton. And uh, me and my dad love it when you do your talky steamrolling tackles. <laughs> but And then my dad tells me to do a talky steamrolling tackle when I get stuck in. But he also says, stay on your feet. So how do you decide to stay on your feet or do a talky steamroller? That's my um, question. But also, I've got you in my FC24 mobile team and you're my best defender and every time I slide tackle I never give away a free kick and I always get stuck in with a talking steamroller. <laughs> I was using a talking steamroller tackle. <laughs> now that's how that you might do be a red card. Steamroller. <laughs> what the that's awesome. Um, there was so much information in there. Um, first of all, I think 
deciding between a Taki steamroller and a normal tackle is um, knowing you're going to win the ball. So I have to be certain I'm going to win the ball because if I don't, um, I may be <laughs> pushing the limit and close to being around a red card. Um, so yeah, that's probably my, my, my main focus is, is if I can get the ball, I'm considering a Taki steamroller, which is also going to click on now and everyone's going to call it a Taki steamroller. Hi Tarki, greetings from Brazil. Um, right now we are celebrating Carnival in Brazil, and uh, as you know, we have like a lot of dancing involved, you know. So I have to ask you, who's the best dancer on the team? Um, who's the one that uh, would enjoy the most the Carnival here in Brazil? Bye. Um, oh, surely this is quite obvious. Surely Amadeo Nan is the most obvious person to be dancing in Brazil, singing. Um, I think he's probably got the most rhythm. Uh, definitely not me. Uh, probably me and Seamus would be the two that you'd probably <laughs> want to try and avoid at Brazilian Carnival Day. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for Amadou. I'm sure you get Jordan yelling questions all the time, but you guys act like brothers out there. But when he is yelling at you, do you want to scream back at him like, yeah, I know, I get it. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's what I do. Um, yeah, he, he does like to shout. I've got used to him. I have got used to him over time. Um, when, I, when, I, when I first started playing in front of him and realising how much information he needs to get across every four seconds, it was difficult to take on board. Um, but we've played a fair few games together now, so um, we've learned to communicate well. I think he's, he's, he's improved on his communication style and I've improved on my listening style. And uh, yeah, it's a quite a good partnership, I'd say. Thanks for all your questions. Um, they're all fantastic, very interesting ones. Uh, but my favourite has got to go to the young lads with the tacky steamroller tackle. So um, I'm going to sign a show up, I'm going to send it out to you. Uh, and there's a tacky steamroller coming in soon. And then let us know in the comments who you want next to sit in this seat and ask some questions. Welcome back then to Southport, where Everton's under-21s currently on level terms with Blackburn. One apiece is the scoreline following uh, a pretty even first half. Blackburn took the lead through Harrison Wood late on, but Everton responded very quickly indeed. And no question, that really will have pleased Paul Tate. Tyler Onyango with a real charge down the right hand side despite playing at centre back he turned into a centre midfielder box to box ran into the area squared the ball for Charlie Whittaker to score his third goal in his last four appearances it certainly descended a bit in temperature from uh, the start of the evening with uh, I mean, some nice sunshine at kick off but will have warmed up considerably in the Everton dressing room thanks to that man Charlie Whittaker scoring the goal to get them back on level terms no changes to either lineup by the looks of things so Dan Juma is going to get a little bit more time hopefully he can sign off his evening if not with a goal but with something to uh, to hold on to something to show Sean Dykes that he is back he's fit, he's ready for action in the Premier League as soon as he's required Everton in action on Monday evening away at Maurizio Pochettino's Chelsea but for now it is the youngsters who are looking to do their job in their third to last Premier League 2 game of the season Blackburn did look promising in that first half. They were allowed to get forward on the counter-attack on more than one occasion. Certainly showed a, a lot of pace in the wide areas. Everton looking to use home advantage. Tajon has been held off there 
very well by Reese Welch. Got the potential of a, a very good partnership that on Yango and Welch. Who knows how they'll continue developing, whether they'll get some senior time or not. Juma sent down by Gamble. on by Kiate but Damjima's return ball doesn't reach the number nine Walsh back to Barnsley Best header by Finneran. Goddard knocks it clear. Yango's got to be careful. He hasn't been. And he's very fortunate that Batty's touch let him down. Through to Chiarte, who's offside. Turn to be offside. Tank Pata. Kiate. Chance for Everton to charge. This is Whitaker. Gets it back from Armstrong. And here is Armstrong again. Chance now for Metcalf. Everton may be overworking it. Nice aggressive challenge by Whitaker. Armstrong all over Finneran. Whitaker. John. Stands a deep cross in. And it goes beyond Whitaker. It was actually Metcalf who gave the ball to uh, John. There has been a collision. So the physio's on very quickly to tend to the stricken players. Yate is the Everton man down. I think it's Atchison, the Rovers skipper, who's uh, gone down. Clash of heads that did come off the ball. Time will be taken to make sure the two players are okay. County stood up now, which is good news. Doesn't look quite as positive for Rovers.
Well, Atchison is sat up now at least, which is good news. to tell from our commentary position whether Atchison needs further treatment as in stitches or anything like that he's up on his feet now being accompanied by the physios and the referee making sure he's okay Atchison just feeling the back of his head it seems No change looks imminent on the sideline, so I think Atchison will be okay. We will have a chunk of time added on at the end of the game. Well, for now at least, Blackburn are down to 10. Holding on to the ball is paramount. Here is Finneran. Over to Wood. Duru. To Wood. Batty. Comes off Dixon. Atchison is back on the field, as is Kiate. Chance now for Blackburn with Tijon. Patty. Tijon turns. Well, it's part of the learning curve for young attacking players at this level, when to time their runs, making sure that they stay on side. We've seen flag raised quite a few times already. Welch, John, Jack Tata, Kiate, now Metcalf, Dixon, good control, Whitaker. It's a brilliant turn, and he wins a throw. up for a long throw here it's not a bad one it's flicked on Goddard keeps it in That's certainly a potential weapon Duru Everton back pedal Caddick. Now Finneran. Batty. Off Dixon. that throwing, John clears it as far as Duru 
Wood. Now Caddick. Loads of space for Batty. Tries to take it round Dixon. That is superbly done. Wonderful defending. Oh, and there's a bit of afters. Well, I'm not sure who initiated that. Referee Dean Watson has not had to be too involved in this game, but he's got to be now. And then they have a cuddle. Even at this level, the fuses tend to be short. That's not a good clearance. Batty for Wood. Caddick. Everton do well. Metcalf. Real classy operators in this Everton team. Metcalf's one of them. Been impressed with Whitaker. Chiati's done well up front on his own. to John well that was the intention Duru intercepts Duru's still going he might have a go himself and he pulls it back and Kadic flashes wide and it may have taken a touch Duru I think could have had a strike instead he looked across Caddick was the man who forced this corner. He's going to take it. Headed away. The danger has not subsided. And they have now John forward. Here's Kiate. Looks up. Spots down Juma. And Juma took a little bit too long. Caught in two, maybe three minds. Whether to shoot or whether to pass to either of the options that presented to him. End to end now. T. John, that was a very good attempt at the pass. But wonderful spot from Onyango. Slides in and had to make the challenge. Away by Welch and then by Jan Tata. Rovers staying on Everton's coattails. Duru, Maisy run, still he goes. John was helped out by Welch a lot. Will be a toffee free kick. Still, he continues to be a thorn in the side. Leo Duru. Armstrong. Dixon. Oh, that's the second time in the game he's lost his footing. 
Again, though, it's not the most sympathetic pass. Armstrong wasn't put under pressure, and he just overhits it. and heads down. Going to run back to Goddard. Hasn't really had a save to make. Pick the ball out of the net from Whitaker's goal, but not much beyond that. Wood. Well, I don't think that was a shot. I think it was a miss hit cross. Seeds possession. This is Caddick. Batty. Whitehall. Nicely worked. Batty's running. And Yango in the way again. Being a solid rear guard. Here's Duru. Away from John. Duru. Still he goes, and it's squeezed in at the near post. A lovely finish from Igor Taijon. Well, Duru went down to ground. There were harsh shouts for a penalty, but Blackburn carried on. Tijon carried on. Goes down, but on the turn, goalkeeper blindsided a bit by Welch. And Blackburn have re-established their advantage. Well, Everton can at least take some heart from the last time Blackburn scored because they responded very quickly. Don't want to have to rely on doing that time after time it looks like the Toffees are preparing a change Edward Jones is getting ready just let that one trickle towards him kept his head looks like Beaumont Clark might be the other man coming on will he be coming on to two apiece here's Dan Juma can he work it into space big deflection carried away by Goddard and then sent wide by Whitaker. John Juma trying to work half a yard of space to get the shot away. He did, it was deflected. Tyler Anyango is going to make way for Edward Jones. He need to be called upon for the first team at some point in the coming weeks. So he's off. Jones on in his place. Charlie Whitaker's evening looks like it's over as well. He's off, and one of the more impressive talents in the under-18 ranks, Jacob Beaumont Clark, progressing nicely, and he's going to get another go with the under-21s. T. John, the goal scorer. 
Comes back to him. Sent down by Welch. Missed time challenge. And that's going to be another yellow for Everton. A real complaint. Blackburn movement. Just a, a bit too nippy. It's a poor touch. And he's punished for it. This free kick is going to be left for Jake Batty. It's prime for a left footer. We fancy the shot. Difficult one, really. Angle may have been too acute. goes widthways across to take the throw which Welsh gets a gets away clear Everton on the charge all of a sudden bodies forward Fiate needed a shout well he sent tumbling Free kick the outcome, but it probably should have been more than that. Kiate sent tumbling over to the ground. Metcalf looks like he'll take it. Just uh, having a chat with Beaumont Clark. Whether or not he could be an option. I suspect this is going to be Jensen Metcalf's. Laid off. Metcalf shoots. Makes a fine effort. Armstrong. Brilliantly done. But away by Blackburn. And away potentially towards a third goal. This is T John. Al John stands firm. Jones. Not a great pass from the centre back who's just been introduced. Well, let's have a look again at this free kick. That's why Beaumont Clark came over. It's the little layoff to make the angle more favourable, but it's a strong stop from Goddard. Leo Duru. And Pata couldn't afford to make a challenge. He's already on a yellow, and Duru is still going. Jones nicks it off him. Beaumont Clark. Far too heavy for Chiate. Change coming for Blackburn. Tom Atchison, the captain's off, and Reese Doherty on in his place. Probably sensible to get Atchison off after taking that challenge earlier on in the second half. Jake Batty coming off too, and 
Brandon Powell's on for him. Doesn't look like it's going to affect their formation. Powell will slot in at left wing back and Doherty will play along the back three. Duru. Now Wood. Blackburn look for a third. Beaumont Clark. The game's opening up. And here he is again. Metcalf. Ross shaping to shoot. Instead plays it to Carl John. Always wants to get it on his right foot. It's a good looking cross as well. Jack Patter. Now John. Once again, another cross. Another header away. This is Dixon. Can't squeeze it through to Chiate. Gamble. Whitehall. Doherty. Powell. No, oh, that's the no one. And Jima can't gather. Well, I'm sure he will have expected a little bit more from himself in this game. These young lads, that are no bugs. They are going to put up a fight against senior players. He's been impressive. Piate, back to John. Dan Juma. Through to Chiate. Pulls it back. It was a good move as well. Dan Juma. Metcalf. Loads of space for Beaumont Clark. Goes to the byline and hammers it to the side netting. Decent effort that. sent down he's convinced it should have been a free kick Caddick Powell away from Dixon but runs it into touch Everton a little loose in possession
And he can a battle with Beaumont Clark, and then that's a firm challenge. Armstrong sliding in well. Whitehall. Doherty. Caddick. Powell. Doherty overrun by Everton bodies. Blackburn preparing another substitution. As the lone drummer in the jack car stand to our left hand side continues. Zach Stritch is going to come on. And Sangu withdrawn. And who teed up Harrison Wood for the first goal. Is Armstrong. Piate. Juru. Tijon. To Finneran. And Jim is still on the field. Maybe a bit of a surprise. Duru down the line for Tijon. Strong challenge goes in. Very nicely done by Jack Tatter. Certainly a wholehearted operator for Everton. Paddock to take the corner again. Blackburn looking for a third, which maybe would kill the game off. Toffees clear it, and then that's a poor ball. Kiate. Danjuma. Goes cross field to Dixon. Beaumont Clark ahead of him. Here is Jacob Beaumont Clark. Twisting, turning, goes to the byline. That's a very good defensive clearance. Isaac Whitehall in the way. No messing about with the corner. It's taken quickly. Maybe a bit too quickly. Everyone's still up there for Everton. Beaumont Clark. Super agility. And that's not a bad ball either. Whitehall away. Armstrong. Poor touch. There's a chance to see Zach Stritch in action. Patter. Metcalf squeezes it through to Kiate. And it's gone in for two apiece. Goddard thought he'd done enough. He thought his hand was strong enough. But it wasn't. And Kiate has his goal. Nicely played through by Jensen Metcalf. And Kiate kept his cool, used his body. He was able to get the shot away left-footed. As much as Gamble tried, he couldn't clear it. Two comebacks then for the Toffees.
They don't want to let go of this let go of this potential point they've got. Don't want to let Blackburn take the lead for a third time. Dan Juma. Might he be the man to unlock them for that magical third time? Metcalf. Beaumont Clark. Danjuma. This time can't find the right ball. And then he takes it off Stritch. It's almost as if he found second wind in the last few minutes. Jack Tatter. Now Metcalf. Metcalf goes for it. Got out of way. Duru. Get the sense there is going to be a winner in this game, but who will it be for? Blackburn on the charge, Powell across. It's not the best ball. He's back up to his feet. Everton ready in. Another substitution. like it's Jack Tierney who's come on Armstrong is beaten by Finneran slithers through towards Stritch Finneran Powell nicely worked Poor clearance comes now to Duru. Didn't fancy going first time. There is still beating of Jones. Woodside foots it back to Duru. And away by Edward Jones. again with the corner away by Welch and again only as far as T John oh what a strike that is that is magnificent it's such disappointment for Everton but you can't say anything against that Igor Tijon with a wonder goal. Chest volley. Absolutely brilliantly struck. Well, he's been the difference maker. Blackburn's number 17. Everton have got four minutes plus added time. Dixon looking to lead the charge. Back to Jack Tierney. Wells to Jones. Oh, 
Armstrong. Metcalf. Back now to Armstrong. And on he goes. Harrison Armstrong. And I think that was a very frustrated looking challenge. Armstrong diving in. Fair play to Leo Duro. He certainly doesn't milk it. Caddick. Fourth goal really would end this game. It was a contest. Rove was looking for it. Caddick floats it. He's looking for Harrison Wood. Back to Duru. And Giuma holds his arms up. I think almost expecting the whistle to be blown for a free kick. Challenge does eventually come in from Tierney. Adam Carrick. Gamble. Duru. Smart turn. Strong turn as well. Carrick's cross is look. He's good looking. And it's come all the way through. What a big chance. Blazed over by Stritch. Nearly a combination of the two substitutes. And if Stritch should have left that, Tijon was just behind. He could have had a hat trick. Metcalf. Certainly an exciting end to this Premier League 2 game. Jones Dan Juma Jack Tatter Dixon is beaten by Powell Another Everton change to come. Callum Bates is on the sideline. Another member of the under-18 squad. Here's Jones. Running to a blind alley. Welch. Dixon. Beaumont Clark. Playing with urgency. Beaumont Clark. Slides it through to Armstrong. He's kept himself on site. added on at the end so there's plenty of time for things to change change is made Ali Jankata the man withdrawn and Callum Bates the number 16 in your picture and he's now on the field of play Chance now for Everton. Can they make it three apiece? Dixon just wide.
Jerry. Gamble away. Jones to Welch. Caddick. To bend one round the back of the Everton defence. Well, she's too aware of his surroundings, though. Now it's an almighty scrap, and Blackburn prevail. They get the throw in. Now Caddick. Caddick's cross. Well, for a second then, I thought that was going to float in. No intention from Blackburn just yet to take it to the corner flag, although it's still six minutes. It's probably a bit too early to be thinking about time wasting. Bates to Jones. Callum Bates. Beaumont Clark. Metcalf. Not shy in sending bodies forward. Can they break the Blackburn back line again? The cross is clear by Whitehall. Free kick is conceded, and that just takes a bit more of the sting out. And Juma penalised. Jones away. Caddick. Jones with the block. and simply have to press. Have to try and make life awkward for Blackburn in the last few minutes. Dixon. Tierney. Armstrong collected. Yellow card given to Zach Stritch. Metcalf. Dixon. Spots Armstrong who goes down. The decision doesn't go his way. Well, strides onto the ball ahead of Wood. Beaumont Clark. Metcalf. And he's dispossessed now. Duro. Tijon. Right. 
Another opportunity that Everton spurred to get the ball forward quickly. Awful clearance from Goddard, but he's rescued by Caddick. Dixon. Over the top, looking for Harrison Armstrong. And he'll accept the corner kick. It's going to be taken by Beaumont Clark. Perhaps this will be the last chance. There is still another minute. Six yard box is crowded. It's away by Powell. Up to T. John. Bates does wonderfully well to win it back. Beaumont Clark now to Bates. Floats the crossing. Drops now for Dan Jima. Is this his chance? Caddick in the way. Jones keeps it alive. And that's a cracking touch from Beaumont Clark, who fizzes it in. Safe hands, Felix Goddard. to stretch and this is maturity beyond the years Everton have the throw but Blackburn have Everton where they want them and unfortunately for Paul Tate's side their final home match in this Premier League 2 season ends in defeat Twice Blackburn took the lead, twice Everton pegged them back, but unfortunately an absolute stunner from Igor Tijon proved to be the winner for Blackburn Rovers. Disappointing for Everton, but they've certainly got bigger fish to fry in the upcoming days. Remember, we'll be live on Everton TV Tuesday evening with the Premier League International Cup semi-final against Crystal Palace. That match for a place in the final against Young PSV of the Netherlands. But that's it uh, for this evening from Southport. Thank you very much for joining us. And here is the best of the action this evening.